Hey guys, it's Nadim and Greg here with Online Tennis Instruction coming from you from beautiful Costa Rica where we have our first Ultimate OTI experience. Uh, we recently did a video together where we were talking about going down the line and cross court without having to change too much on the actual swing itself and we were asked to do the same thing with a live ball so Greg and I are going to do that for you today. All right, so what we talked about, what we focused on, was demonstrating how the difference between going down line cross court was really just contacting the ball a little further in front. So in the previous video, we talked about you know hitting the ball in the doubles alley and keeping the racket in that alley to go down the line. And then when going cross court, you visually would pick up the alley and then place it in a cr cross court. And then you want to try to keep the racket in that alley. But notice how the racket will stay to the outside of my hand here as I'm going cross court. So this would be down the line and then cross court, the, the contact point would be further in front. We're still going to lift from the shoulder and you see how the racket stays on the outside of the hand as we go in cross court. So we're going to take a look at a few slow motion examples to demonstrate the subtle differences between going cross court and down the line. All right, let's start with the forehand and watch Greg do it um, cross court on the left side of the screen and down the line on the right side of the screen. Now you see very subtle differences here. Similarities again, very important, the inside position or the slot position on both of these strokes as he approaches contact. Now the, the racket will stay to the right side of the hand obviously as he moves towards contact and you will now see how that stays true regardless of whether he goes down the line or cross court. So you have the inside out swing to contact and now the next step will be watching the racket remain on the right side of the hand as he goes towards the finish position right here. So there is no immediate swinging one way or the other depending on where you go with the ball. It is crystal clear that the swing is very similar and the finish is very similar although the ball goes in a totally different direction and that is exactly what we tried to accomplish by telling you to look at the alley and pick up the alley whether you go down the line or cross court. So here let's take a look at this one more time. Inside position, contact, racket stays to the right side of the hand as he finishes the swing, whether he goes down the line or cross court. Now let's watch Nadim demonstrate this on the backhand. On the left hand side of the screen he's going cross court, on the right hand side he's going down the line. You'll see how he gets into the inside slot position and he swings away from his body to contact, swinging inside out. Now past contact, Notice how the racket stays to the left side of his hand as he lifts from his shoulder. You can see the similarities regardless on whether or not Nadim is going cross court or down the line. He still extends out to the target and keeps the racket on the left side of his body swinging inside out. Now let's watch that again and notice how there are no major adjustments between going cross court and down the line. 